Hi, this is Dave from Bob Cloud. We are going to learn how to create a disk image using Clonezilla and Macrium Reflect. This is my Windows 10 device. I am going to open Disk Management. Here, you can see I have two disks. For this demo, I will create an image of disk 0 and store it on disk 1. Let's get started. Restart your computer and boot from the Clonezilla USB drive. Select Clonezilla Lib, the first option. Keep the language set to English and the keyboard layout to the default setting. Select the first option, Start Clonezilla. Select Device Image to create an image of your disk. Select Local to Device as the location for saving your disk image. Press Enter to confirm your choices. Check your source and target drives are correctly listed and then press Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to exit. If you don't see your source or destination hard drive ensure you have connected them properly and wait for a few seconds to show up here. Choose your target disk to store the image. Here I am selecting a 100GB disk. Here, I am selecting the first option to skip the disk check option. We will save the image file in the root folder of our target disk. Press Tab on your keyboard and select Done. Press Enter to confirm your choices. Select Beginner Mode for an easier process. Select the first option Save Disk, as we are saving the disk as an image. Name your image or hit Enter to accept the default name. Here I am naming Disk to Image as an example. Use Tab and select OK. Select the source disk you want to image. Be careful if you have multiple disks. For this demo, I am going to keep the default option for all the settings. Select the first option Choose Reboot. Press Enter to confirm. Review the setting and press Y or Yes to start the imaging process. The duration of cloning process will vary based on your disk performance. I am going to fast forward this part until it the cloning finishes. As you can see Clonezilla has finished the cloning process. Press Enter and select Reboot or Power Off option. Now I am going to log into the Windows device to verify the image. As you can see the image file has been created successfully. Now let us see how you can create a disk image using Macrium Reflect. Open the Macrium Reflect software on your computer. Select the source disk which you want to image. Click on Image This Disk button. If you have multiple disks ensure to select the right source disk. Set the destination folder to store the image and give a name for your image. Click on Next button to continue. In this window, you can schedule a backup plan for your image. You can set what type of backup you want to run. For this demo, I am clicking on Next, not going to select anything. Review the setting, once confirmed click on the Finish button. If you want you can save the backup option for later use. Click OK to confirm. The imaging process has been started. Let me fast forward it until it finishes. Disk image has completed. Now click OK to close. Now I am going to log into Windows device to verify the image. As you can see the image has been created successfully. This is how easier to create a disk image using Clonezilla and Macrium Reflect. Thanks for watching.